a mythology, a world where the impossible becomes possible, where gods walk among men and where the lines between reality and fantasy blur. To truly grasp the essence of mythology, we must first venture into its labyrinthine depths. It's akin to stepping into a world that defies the laws of nature, a realm that transcends the ordinary, and a universe that dances on the edge of the known and the unknown. Here the sun is charioted across the sky, and the seasons bow to the whims of deities. Here heroes are born not from the ranks of men, but from the divine and the monstrous, the ethereal and the earthly. Yet what is mythology if not a mirror of ourselves? It is a reflection of our fears, our hopes, our dreams, and our questions about the universe. It is an attempt to explain the inexplicable, to make sense of the chaos that surrounds us. From the dawn of civilization, humans have spun tales of gods and monsters, of heroes and villains, of creation and destruction. These myths, these stories, they are the threads that weave together the fabric of our collective consciousness. Mythology is the echo of ancient voices, whispering in our ears, sharing their wisdom, their follies, their triumphs and their tragedies. It is the ink that has penned our history, the muse that has inspired our literature and the lens through which we view our world. From Greek epics to Norse sagas, from Egyptian legends to Eastern fables, Mythology is the universal language that binds us all. But it is more than just stories, it is a journey into the heart of human nature. A voyage through the cosmos of our imagination, it is a quest for truth, an adventure into the unknown. It is, in essence, the eternal struggle between order and chaos, between light and dark, between good and evil. Prepare to embark on a journey through time and imagination as we delve into the fascinating world of mythology. The birth of mythology can be traced back to the dawn of humanity, where our ancestors sought to explain the world around them. These ancient societies, steeped in mystery and wonder, crafted intricate stories to make sense of the phenomena they couldn't comprehend. The sun's daily journey, the change of seasons, the roar of thunder, all became characters and narratives in a vibrant tapestry of myth. Mythology, in its earliest form, was a primitive science. It was mankind's first attempt at understanding the cosmos and our place within it when a bolt of lightning fractured the sky. It wasn't a mere weather occurrence, it was Zeus expressing his anger. When the harvest was bountiful, it wasn't due to favorable weather conditions. It was Demeter's blessing. In this way, mythology offered explanations where science had yet to tread. But myths were not just about explaining natural phenomena, they were also a means of navigating the moral landscape. The tales of gods and heroes, their trials and tribulations, served as parables, teaching virtues such as courage, wisdom and justice. The story of Hercules, for instance, wasn't just about a demigod's mighty strength, it was a lesson about overcoming personal demons and enduring hardship. Myths also played a central role in ancient societies, binding communities together with shared beliefs and rituals. They were the societal glue, providing a common language and understanding. The tales told around the fire became the foundations of culture, shaping norms, values and traditions. In a world without written laws or codified ethics, myths were the moral compass guiding societies, but perhaps most importantly, in a world fraught with uncertainty and danger, myths offered comfort. They reassured our ancestors that they were not alone, that there was order in the chaos, meaning in the randomness. They promised that even in the darkest times there was a guiding hand, a divine plan. In a time of mystery and fear, mythology offered solace and understanding. And even today, thousands of years later, we continue to seek that solace and understanding in the timeless tales of mythology. As societies evolved, so did their myths, transforming with the changing times. Isn't it fascinating how mythology, like the societies that birthed them, is a living, breathing entity, constantly evolving and adapting? As cultures grew, expanded and mingled, their mythologies absorbed new ideas and influences, shedding old skins and donning new ones, much like a serpent of legend. In the ancient world, myths were not merely stories, they were the fabric of reality, interwoven with the threads of culture, religion and identity. As societies branched out, they carried their myths with them, like precious heirlooms, and as they encountered new lands and cultures, their myths too encountered new ideas, new gods, new monsters. Take the ancient Greeks, for instance. Their pantheon of gods was a vibrant tapestry of personalities and powers, reflecting the complexities of human nature and the mysteries of the universe. 
But as Greek society evolved, so did their myths. The Homeric epics of the 8th century BC are a far cry from the philosophical allegories of the Hellenistic period. The gods of Olympus, once so real and palpable, slowly became metaphors for human virtues and vices, for the cosmic principles that govern the universe. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, as Christianity spread across Europe, pagan myths were either suppressed or reimagined in a Christian context. The Norse god Odin, once a symbol of wisdom and war, was transformed into a devilish figure, while the goddess Freya, associated with love and beauty, became a witch in the eyes of the new faith. But here's the fascinating thing, despite these transformations, the core essence of these myths, the timeless truths they conveyed, remained intact. They still spoke of courage and fear, love and hate, life and death, chaos and order. They still mirrored the human condition, reflecting our deepest hopes and darkest fears. And that's why mythology, in all its myriad forms, continues to captivate us, to resonate with us, even in this age of science and reason. Because at its heart, mythology is the language of the human soul, echoing across the centuries, whispering timeless truths in a thousand different tongues. The myths we know today are the product of centuries of transformation and adaptation. Uh, the pen is mightier than the sword. And in the world of mythology, it has been the instrument of immortalizing these tales. The intertwining of mythology and literature is as ancient as the spoken word itself. It is in literature that myths find their permanence, their immortality. And the architects of this immortal realm, the authors who dedicated their lives to studying and understanding these mythologies, their nuances, their meanings, and their impact on society. One such scholar is Joseph Campbell, Known for his work in comparative mythology, Campbell once stated, Myths are public dreams. Dreams are private myths. Through these words, Campbell encapsulates the intimate connection between individual consciousness and universal mythologies. He suggests that these myths are not just stories, but reflections of our collective psyche. Similarly, Carl Jung, a prominent psychologist and mythologist, delved deep into the psyche's archetypal patterns. His theories on the collective unconscious and archetypes heavily drew from mythology. He once said, the myth is the foundation of life. It is the timeless schema, the pious formula into which life flows. Jung saw mythology as a lens to understand the human psyche, a tool to decode the mysteries of the subconscious mind. Then there were authors who used mythology as a canvas for their narratives. Take J.R.R. R. Tolkien, for example, whose Middle Earth sagas were steeped in Norse and Germanic mythologies, or C.S. Lewis, who wove Christian allegories into his Narnia chronicles. Both authors used mythological elements to create complex fantastical worlds that continue to captivate readers. And let's not forget the poets. Robert Graves, with his retelling of Greek myths, and Ted Hughes, with his collection Tales from Ovid, breathed new life into ancient stories. They transformed these myths into poignant narratives, reminding us of their timeless relevance. Through their words, these authors have breathed life into the myths of old, preserving them for generations to come. These tales of gods and heroes, of creation and destruction, of love and betrayal continue to resonate with us, a testament to the enduring power of mythology and literature. From the tragic tale of Oedipus to the heroic exploits of Hercules, mythology is filled with stories of epic proportions. Both characters, despite hailing from the same era of Greek mythology, represent vastly different facets of the human condition. Oedipus, the doomed king of Thebes, stands as a symbol of tragedy and the inexorable fate while Hercules, the demigod known for his strength and courage, embodies heroism and the triumph of will over adversity. Let's delve into Oedipus's story first. Born into royalty and prophesied to kill his father and marry his mother, Oedipus's tale is one of the most poignant in Greek mythology. Despite his best efforts to alter his destiny, Oedipus tragically fulfills the prophecy, resulting in his downfall. This story, a potent symbol of the human struggle against fate, has resonated through the ages, influencing countless works of literature and philosophy. On the other hand, Hercules, known for his twelve labors, represents the heroic ideal. The son of Zeus and a mortal woman, Hercules was endowed with extraordinary strength. 
His trials, ranging from slaying the Nimian lion to capturing Cerberus, the Hound of Hades, encapsulate the human capacity for resilience and determination in the face of daunting challenges. Hercules' story has been retold in countless forms from ancient sculptures and vases to modern movies and comic books, reflecting our enduring fascination with heroism. In contrast to Oedipus's tragic fate, Hercules' story ends with his ascension to Olympus, signifying the possibility of redemption and victory over personal demons. These two tales, while different, share a common thread, the exploration of human nature, our vulnerabilities and our potential for greatness. These myths, filled with tragedy and heroism, continue to captivate us even today. They remind us of our own struggles and triumphs, our battles against fate and our quest for redemption. Through the tales of Oedipus and Hercules, we see reflections of our own lives, coloured by the timeless hues of mythology. Even in our modern world, the influence of mythology is far from forgotten. We may no longer believe in the gods and monsters of yore, but their stories continue to captivate us, leaving indelible marks on our culture and consciousness. Take a moment to think about it. How often do we reference Hercules' strength or talk about an Achilles' heel? These phrases, deeply rooted in mythological narratives, have become part of our everyday language. Literature, too, brims with examples of mythology's enduring legacy. From J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, which teems with creatures from Greek and Roman myths, to Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson novels that bring ancient deities to the 21st century, mythology continues to inspire and enrapture. But it's not just books. Films and television series are also steeped in myth. The Marvel Cinematic Universe, for instance, draws heavily from Norse mythology, reimagining gods like Thor and Loki as superheroes for the silver screen. Even in the realm of video games, titles like God of War and Assassin's Creed Odyssey allow players to interact with mythological worlds, blurring the lines between past and present, between myth and reality. Beyond entertainment, mythology continues to shape our understanding of the world. Psychologists like Carl Jung have used mythological archetypes to delve into the human psyche. Myths also continue to inform our moral and ethical frameworks, teaching us about heroism, sacrifice, and the enduring struggle between good and evil. So you see, while we may have replaced the pantheon of gods with science and technology, we remain at our core storytelling creatures. We still look to these ancient tales to make sense of the world, to navigate the complexities of human existence. And in doing so, we keep these myths alive, breathing new life into them with each retelling. Mythology, a relic of the past, continues to shape our present and will undoubtedly influence our future. Even as we stride into the unknown, we carry with us the tales of old, a testament to the enduring power of myth. As we journey back from the realm of myths, it's clear to see their pervasive influence. They're not mere figments of human imagination, but rather they are the threads that weave together the tapestry of our collective consciousness. They resonate with the echoes of our past, speak to our present and whisper to our future. From the birth of myths, we've seen how these stories have been shaped by the human desire to understand our place in the universe. They are the answers our ancestors sought when they looked up at the stars and wondered about the mysteries of life and death. We've delved into the evolution of mythology, observing how these narratives have transformed over time, adapting to the ever-changing human condition. Like a river carving its path through the landscape, myths have cut through the bedrock of cultures, shaping societies and influencing civilizations. In the realm of literature, we've explored the works of great authors who have drawn from this wellspring of knowledge. Their stories, though wrapped in the cloak of fiction, echo the timeless truths found in these ancient tales, demonstrating the enduring relevance of mythology. We've journeyed alongside Oedipus and Hercules, delving into their tales of heroism, tragedy and redemption. Through their stories, we've glimpsed the human spirit in its rawest form, reflecting our own strengths and weaknesses, our victories and defeats. In the modern world, we've seen how mythology continues to permeate our lives, from our language and traditions to our art and entertainment. They are the echoes of the past that continue to resonate in our present, reminding us of our roots and guiding us towards our future. In the end, mythology is more than just stories. It's a testament to humanity's need for understanding, a chronicle of our past and a beacon for our future. So as we step away from this exploration, let's carry these stories with us, for they are the keys to unlocking the mysteries of our existence.